I'm David. I'm Julie. So now we're going to do a playthrough of Flamme Rouge. Ooh. And it's also going to be a how to play because the rules are simple enough that we can combine the videos. Now this is part of our project to do uh, videos on the top 100 family games as ranked by Board Game Geek users. And as of November 2019, uh, Flamme Rouge is in the top 20 through 40, oh, okay. which you see behind us. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, check out our other videos where we do the top 20. So those are already up. Mm -hmm. And as we go through November here in December, we'll hopefully get through these 20. Oh, we will. So uh, we also have a review video that you can check out as well. Mm -hmm. So in Flamme Rouge, you're going to set up a track according to one of the cards. And here is the starter card. And you'll notice that there are uh, lowercase letters on it. And that, that's because on the other side of the track cards, you'll see uppercase. So if I show you on my camera here, okay. there is variability in what tracks you can play. There's even rules oh. for mountains, which we haven't played yet. Uh, so here's just some samples right here. Wow. So for instance, uh, it's uppercase and a black background versus a lowercase and uh, a white background. So that's how you know when to flip them over. Mm. But I guess these are based on actual places. Someone who's a cyclist enthusiast will probably know uh, where these places are in the world. I'm sure. So anyways, we're playing the starter one, which is this one. It's probably supposed to be the easiest one, I bet, huh? Well, there's no mountains, and we haven't played with those rules yet. Oh, I see. All right, so you're going to have your exhaustion deck here for your roller, which is the R, and for your sprinter. So what does that mean? Well, in this game... Depending on uh, how you move your cyclist, we're going to have a roller and a sprinter here marked by two different colors. I'm red and Julie's going to be blue. And you're going to add these to your deck, which are not very good cards because you're only going to move two spaces. So you want to avoid uh, exhaustion. And you'll see it's the same card, but notice this guy is standing up to match this guy standing up. See? Oh, yeah. See how they go together? I'll probably yeah. show you another. So one of the things that when you get this game is you got to get used to the graphic design and what goes with what. So oh, got uh, it. There's four. This is a four-player game, and there's a, a, a black and green riders as well as red and blue. Mm. So I'm going to go back here on the deck. I have. It really doesn't matter that they're all the cards are the same mm -hmm. in the exhaustion deck. So let's take a look at my deck. We start out with the same deck. So that it, it is symmetrical in the sense that we have the same cards. You'll see there's threes, sixes, sevens, fours. What's the biggest number, honey? Well, let's, let's find out right now. Okay. So when you get your deck, let's see how many there are of each thing. Okay. Because part of the strategy is that you're going to be drawing four cards mm -hmm. and selecting one. And then if, depending on, I'll show you how you get exhaustion, You'll be adding exhaustion cards, which can slow you down as you move through the game. Mm. So you'll see that your roller has, wow, it's evenly distributed from three threes, three fours, three fives, three sixes, and three sevens. Whereas your sprinter makes sense that he's going to start off. See, again, you got to get used to the graphic design here. Your roller is more hunched and your sprinter is more, you know, in an upright pose. What helps me is a little R and the S at the bottom, to be honest. Right, and you also have to look at the R and the S. So let's see the cards that are different for the sprinter. Okay. Obviously, he's going to, I know he has more of the higher cards. Because, oh, because he has to go faster, farther? Because he'll be going faster. Yeah. So he's the one that has three wow. nines. Okay. But he has all, uh, but the roller has sevens. Yeah and sixes. <clears throat> so the difference between the two decks is that the roller is going to have sevens and sixes. Yep. And this guy will have three nines, but uh, he's going to have some twos, the sprinter. Mm. So you know what? We've never even analyzed that until now. So you're going to take your deck and you're going to shuffle it up. Again, keeping in mind the graphic design of your deck here. These are all the same guy. Again, this is blue. You look at the blue background here. Uh, actually, I have your deck by accident. My deck. This yeah. is your deck. <laughs> so I showed, so this is, <laughs> I messed up here. Julie gets the blue and I get the red. They're the same card. She has yeah. the same numbers. So I happen to show hers. Okay, so here's Julie's cards. You'll see here on her camera. I'm going to shuffle mine. add her, 
put the uh, roller on top of the roller space yep. here and the spreaders on top of the spreader space. Yep. And I'll do the same here. I'm going to shuffle these up. And I'll okay. shuffle my rollers. And we're going to be drawing four cards from each deck and selecting one uh, each round of play. But first, let me explain some uh, mechanics of the game. Okay. Now, the game says for the start player, the person who last rode a cyclist a cycle will go first. I can't remember when we I, last rode one. No. In fact, I think uh, you probably, did you ride a bike at the, even though it's not a real bike, at the uh, workout place? Oh, yes, at the gym. Okay, so Julie yep. will go first. Otherwise, rode the youngest person bike. will go first. So uh, the way that works is, here's the start. And again, it's a race game. we got to get all the way to the finish. And it's important that you have the right side of the track to determine turn order. And also in the finish, say we were tied here, and Julie was in the right-hand lane, that's what breaks ties, who was in the rightmost lane. So, and if you're in a space by yourself, let's say Julie moves four, one, two, three, four, automatically she'll be moved into the right lane. Oh, okay. All right, so that's a given all the time, if you're by yourself. Because the way the game works is you have squares. So that's a square right here. Yeah. Okay? This is another square. Yeah. And if you're alone in that square, you're pushed to the right. Okay. All right, Julie. No so we're which writer it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what? Where? Do you, who do you want to start here? And where? Sprinter or roller? Where do you want to place them? Uh, I'll do the roller. Where? Here um, or here? Other side. Right here. Yes, please. Where do you want your sprinter? Uh, right there is good. Okay. Let me. Verify something. I thought you had to drop them down or something. Well, we did like that, that because that's how we wanted to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you place your two riders in any free lanes behind the start line. Okay. Free place their two. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure we didn't alternate. That's why I had to look that up again. What we t what we tend to do is we'll shake them up and drop them instead of doing right. the. But that's all right. Uh, we're going to play it the way the rules say. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be right here. Yeah. I'll have my sprinter first and my roller first. Now, here's the position, the, posi the starting position. You're going to see the turn phases right here. I'll show on my, on my camera. We're going to choose rider cards uh, for each of the, our sprinter and roller. We're going to play one of those cards and recycle the other three under our deck. And what I mean by repeat is that you'll do it first for your roller. For instance, draw four cards, pick one, and then you recycle it. Okay, so in the movement phase, you reveal all energy cards and then move all riders forward. And then we remove that card that we played. We apply slipstream, which I'll explain in a minute, and assign exhaustion cards. So let's say that this is the situation right here. Even though it says start, let's say, well, I'm just going to move it forward like that so it doesn't confuse anybody. Okay, sweetie. Okay. Sure. Whoever's at the front... Of the of it doesn't matter if it's a group or not. We'll get an exhaustion card. So my sprinter, I take one of these exhaustion cards, and I'd put it face up under my deck okay. like this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then Julie's roller. I do the same thing. She do the same thing for her her roller. Okay. So I'd put it. And she would put it underneath that deck. Okay. Right there. But we're not gonna do that no. right now. So the way. The way you get exhausted is, is if you are in the front of a group mm -hmm. and there's a blank space in front of you, that's how you get exhaustion. Uh, so for instance, if Julie was back here, her sprinter would also get a uh, exhaustion. I wouldn't get to move up to be with the gang? Uh, no, because oh. you're not part of a. We haven't explained slipstream. Oh, I'm sorry. My guy is behind your guy, so he doesn't yeah. get an exhaustion card. Okay. Now, if it was like this, okay? Yeah. All of our guys would get exhaustion cards. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, there's one thing called slipstream you've got to keep <laughs> in mind. So, what's considered a group? A group is a square. Okay. Where uh, cyclists are within one space of each other. So even though they're diagonally, yeah. actually, you got to move to the right. That's right. Oh. So we've been probably been forgetting to do that. So if this is a situation, you would move to the right. Oh, okay. And then now slipstreaming would be applied, which means that 
if you're one space away from another group, so this is one group mm -hmm. and this is another group, mm -hmm. because they're adjacent to each other, you would move forward one for free. Oh. So this guy would get an exhaustion, this guy would get an exhaustion. So let's say it's a situation like this. Everybody is, these guys are separated, right? Right. After we play our cards. Right. He moved, well, it would be like this, because you always have to be to the right. Oh, okay. You would apply a slipstream. Yeah. And then we're two spaces away. Right. We're part of the same group. Uh, you don't apply slipstreaming. Oh. So you get an exhaustion, get an exhaustion, get an exhaustion. Huh. If the situation was like this, though. Yeah. Okay. Apply the slipstream. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're the same group. Apply another slipstream because you're one space away. Okay. And now you you uh, avoided exhaustion. And you do too, except for uh, our front guys. Except our front guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I don't move to the right because you're blocking me on the right. Oh, okay. okay. Gotcha. So you're going to see this. This is part of the uh, dynamics of the game is how far do you move if you're once, you got to move to the right if, there's a, if you're the only one in that square. And then you take a look to see if, if you're one space away from anybody. Uh, and you apply slipstreaming and you move up and then you look to see for exhaustion and again You don't want exhaustion because it clogs up your deck with cards that only move up two spaces mm, So right. I haven't explained it yet. I mean, I kind of I guess I, I'm <laughs> assuming it's obvious. Let's say I select this one. Oh, I'm on the wrong camera Let's say I selected this one and this one for my riders. Okay, and this was the uh, start right here You can move through other cyclists so you don't block each other. So you'd go in turn order. Julie would move her roller first, say she went two, and her sprinter actually would be to the right. So a sprinter would go first, say it went two, and you moved four, one, two, three, four. And then I, I show my roller would go uh, next because he's in the right lane mm -hmm. in that square. You'd go five, one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm next to you there. And then my sprinter would go three, mm -hmm. one, two, three. Okay, so we've moved. Uh, no, everybody's in the right lanes and they're square. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd check for uh, slipstreaming and we're, we'd move up these in the back. And now we're part of the same group again. Okay. Uh, so anyways, it's really simple. You move that many spaces according to the card. Now, if there was a situation where I played this three mm -hmm. uh, for my sprinter, mm -hmm. I can't go one, two, three and be on top of you. So I'd be one space behind you. Okay. So you don't get pushed forward. You actually get pushed back if you land in the same space so as it's another. almost a waste of a card if you're going to end up well not being able to move the full that's thing. if you can predict that but it'd be one two three i get pushed back and yeah. then move to the right ah uh, okay okay because you always get moved to the right always move to the right okay all right so again just to show you uh how you draw cards on a turn you're gonna so julie you, you selected this right sprinter um i don't remember well, i think that's so. how we're gonna do it i don't know Okay, so the way you uh, do cards, you select one of your riders. Again, I'm going to model it. You don't need to do anything. Oh, right okay. Sorry. Okay, so I'm shuffling these up. I, yep. I'm going to do my sprinter. Yep. Now, turn order does matter. Uh, let me just verify. Now, wouldn't you have to do your roller because you're in the far right? Well, let's just verify because you'll see on the cheat card here, it doesn't tell you what card to go first. Mm. And then you'll see in the rules here. It tells you the phases here, okay? But then it tells you in a different way here how to do it. Oh. So it tells you three different ways how to do this here, but this is the most explanatory way. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna choose a writer. It just says choose one of your writers. It doesn't say that you have to do the one that's to the rightmost space. Okay. Or in what order. So you get to choose the order you want, but you are gonna reveal cards in the order that they are on the board. Oh. So even if I do my role, uh, choose my, uh, my sprinter first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. To look at the four cards, I want to have to move my roller first because he's in the most right lane. So it would be oh. sprinter, roller, roller, sprinter. That's the order it's going to go in. Okay. Rightmost lane, further ahead than if you're in the same square, the other square. Uh. So I can choose whatever guy I want to look at first. Okay. So I'm going to I'm gonna say I'm going to choose my sprinter. I'm going to pick four cards. But you're not moving him yet, though. No. Okay. And here's the four cards I have. If I really want him to shoot forward, that might not be a good idea right now because I'm probably going to get exhaustion. Yeah. Uh, say I take a three, okay? Yeah. I put it upside down right here. That's the card I've chosen. And then these three go underneath. And that's when I know I've gone through the deck is when I've 
when these card face-up cards come up, that tells me I have to shuffle. So you're always going to draw a four. Wait, didn't that go on the other side though? It's an S, and it said R on your yeah. I have it there. reversed. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, I didn't mean to. And then so I pick one card, and then yeah. I draw four. I'll okay. pick one. And again, you can look at what you've picked. So I've picked a three. I don't want them to be too far ahead. Okay. I'll pick a five here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I put these up here, and then I will reveal them in the order. Here, I have to reveal my roller first. Okay. And you would have already moved, okay, but uh -huh. so let's say you went like this. Okay. And I go one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I can't be on top of you, so I actually, you would be to the right right there. Oh. You were never going to be in the left lane like that if okay. you're ahead. So I go one, two, three, four, five. I have to go back to there. You wouldn't go to the opposite side of me then. Oh, actually, I would. You're right, I would. Thank you. That's a good point. One, two, three, four, five. Back a space to the left. Okay. Oh, no, wait. I would go right here. You're right. One, two, three, four, five. I go to the left. So I'm glad I went through that because that's a situation right there where uh, I can, you can change lanes anytime you want as you're moving. Mm -hmm. So that's another rule to point out. So the first time, two times I showed that, I did it wrong both times. <laughs> it would go to the left. Okay. Okay, now this guy gets revealed, my sprinter. Three. three. One, two, three. And I would go to the right. Okay. Exhaustion, exhaustion, and these guys are okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. So back to how we had it. Now we can play. All right. All right, so I'm going to pick, I'm going to shuffle again real quick, and then pick four cards. All right, so that's the how to play portion. Again, you race four, you race forward until somebody crosses the finish line. Whoever's in the rightmost lane, if there's a tie for the same square, would uh, win. And then four here. All right, so now we're shuffling our cards. Uh, oops, I had my face up ones there. So it's a little bit of a drafting game in the sense that you're drafting exhaustion cards. You're only basically drafting really bad cards because anytime you play a card that is, uh, even if it's an exhaustion card, you only play it once and it's removed from the game. Okay. So eventually your deck is going to dwindle down. So it's going to uh, get big and then go back down again. All right. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And uh, oh, so Julia already picked her card for I did. her. Whoops, I'm upside down. Her roller yes. and her sprinter. Yep. Okay, and then I'm going to do mine real quick. So you can okay. see what I'm picking. Since Julie picked already, it doesn't matter what she sees what I've done, what I'm going to do. Because I'm not changing anything. All right, I'll try zipping ahead. Ooh. So I'm going to okay. do that. Now, it does help her to see what cards I've played. If she really wants to try to remember. Since I played a six, I can't even remember what I've I'll played. do a five. <laughs> Let alone worry okay, about you. See how you. I'm putting them upside down? Yeah, I did. I know, but... We've played games where we sometimes end up with more cards than we should because we didn't do it right. Yes, we have. All right, so now we both picked our cards. So Julie now is going to uh, reveal her uh, sprinter. Okay. Is in the rightmost lane. That goes so, two? Okay, so the sprinter goes two. Hang on. Oh, maybe I bumped it. I'm sorry. That's hon. okay. Two. So Julia's not zooming ahead like I'm going to. So she goes two. Conservative. Okay, where is your roller going to do? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three, and then you go like that. So that's good. She's going to prevent her sprinter from getting exhaustion. All right, so now I go. My I have to do my roller first. Six. There you go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this, is, this is not good. I'm going to help them move up. Uh, <laughs> okay, and then Sprinter is a five. Okay. Oh, that's funny. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, you're not. So my roller is going to get an exhaustion because but I don't get one. he's the only rider with one space in front of him. So I take this, mm -hmm. and then I put it underneath my roller. you got to make sure you're matching them up, yeah. see? You could also look here on the right-hand corner or the left-hand corner, and I put it underneath there, Okay. So, now what do we do with these now, cards that we played? I'm about to say. So these okay. cards that I played are removed. Okay. And so Julie removes her cards too. Should we just put them over here? Go Can ahead. you help me do that, please? Yeah. My little so, T-Rex arms can't reach. So there you go. Okay. Now we do the next round, okay. considering the order that we're in. I'm, my roller is going to go next, and Sprinter, then the roller, then Julie Sprinter. So I'll do my cards here. I'm going to draw four. Make sure you draw four, sweetie. I am. 
I'm counting as okay, I do. Because sometimes I know. you're quiet and you forget to do that. You're absolutely right. Okay, I'm going to try a different strategy tea. this game. So i got to make sure I put them face up underneath. So that's where people will mess up in this game the most. Okay, so that's okay because he'll get uh, slipstreaming behind uh, the roller by doing that. By going this and this, he'll be one behind him unless Julie messes me up and I'll get slipstreaming. Okay, did you pick? I did. Okay, so I reveal my roller first. Okay. My roller did a seven. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. My sprinter did five. Did a five. That's smart. Oh, I'm too far back. Oh. You know why I miscounted? One, mm -mm. two, three, four, five. Hang on. Yeah, I just messed up. Well, hopefully I can get. I'm gonna get did two. Did you exhaustion. count your first one right? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. Because he was one ahead already. If yeah. we were side by side, then that would have worked. Uh, so I miscounted because they weren't side by side. I'm sorry. Honey. All right, so I, I did some good math calculation there. Okay, which one is my All right, first so one? All right, so your next one is your, your roller. What did you play? Five. And just show the card. Okay, so Joe's going to go five. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. And what's your next one? Uh, four. Sprinter is a four. Mm -hmm. All right, so slipstreaming. Does not apply here. Does apply to a sprinter. So I get two exhaustions. Oh, that's awesome. So we get rid of our cards. So I apply an exhaustion to my roller. It goes underneath the deck upside down. Or face up, I should say. And the sprinter gets one as well. So I failed on that one. You did, my love. All right. So let's pick our cards again. Draw four. I'll pick one. I'm going to... Try something a little bit differently this time. Okay, okay, I'm ready when you are. All right. Oh, sorry. I actually looked. I'm so sorry. That's all right, honey. You already picked your card. It doesn't matter. Once you picked it, it doesn't matter. I know, but I don't want all to. All right. Like so I'm now cheating. I'm going to do my uh, my roller is ahead. Okay. I reveal the card. It's a three. So he's slowing down. Yeah, he is. Okay. Yep. And my sprinter is next. Two, I bet. It's a five. Oh, five. Okay. Okay, so they're hanging out together. Nice. Get rid of my cards. All right, what did you reveal? Just hand it to me. Your okay. roller's next. Okay, so you have a three. Yep. And this guy. Okay, and your sprinter also has a three. So they're hanging out together. Yeah. But hey, at least I got you an exhaustion for your roller. Oh, okay. So let's make sure you put it in the right area. Okay, so it goes up, up face up like that. Yep. And then I got an exhaustion for my roller. So it goes like this. Now, take a look here. I need to explain this. You should have had only drawn three cards, did you? I did. So I draw the top three. I did. Now I'm going to shuffle up the ones I have face up. Notice I have three exhaustions in here. So oh. I'm going to have, my deck is not so good for my roller. So I have my three cards and that card. Okay. Got three cards. And then my sprinter only has one exhaustion, so he's doing a lot better. That's better, yeah. But I have more exhaustions than you do, that's for sure. Yes, you do. I think last time we played, I had the most exhaustion. Okay. That's the story of my life. Always always tired. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I know that both my guys are going to go first again. All right, so my roller. I'll try this. Wow. That's crap. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I'm going to get messed up again unless you do something that helps me. I drew really high cards. Oh, boy. For my sprinter. Oh, yeah. There was nothing in between. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, shoot. No, I could have drew my sprinter first, but I didn't know I was going to draw. Maybe I need to do that next time, do my sprinter, because he's the one with the high cards. Oh, yeah. All right, so now uh, I'm ahead with the roller. Yes, you are. He moves five. Five. My sprinter moves two. One, two. See how bad I, I oh, drew? Oh, shoot. Yeah. So this just gets back added into the sprinter deck. Okay, my roller goes six. Okay, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, good. And uh, the sprinter goes four. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three, four. 
All right, so substreaming gets applied. Okay. We're not substreaming does not get applied here. So oh. your roller oh, gets a, a two. And my sprinter, no, my roller. Your roller gets one too. Also gets one too. That's okay. He has so many, I guess that's just the way it needs to be. <laughs> All right, so that's the positioning. I'm still going to be, my roller is going to be going before Julie's roller, but Julie's roller is going to go before my sprinter, so i got to keep that in mind. I'm going to do my sprinter first. So here's my four. Wow. When it rains, it pours. Okay. And then, what am I doing? Where are we going? I'm looking on the board. Yeah, I'll just do this. Okay. Okay. So I do my roller. He's in first position. He's burning one of his exhaustion cards. One, two. Hopefully, you zoom ahead. And my then roller. your roller goes next. Three. Three. One, two, three. You will get slipstreaming, but we're not. We don't do it yet. Okay. And then my roller goes. No, my sprinter. Sorry. My sprinter. He goes four. One, two, three, four. He doesn't. He gets. He lost the space. No, oh, he I goes go over. As, no, I'm going to stay behind you. No, you actually do have to you move have forward. To move, yeah. You do have to move forward, so you can't just choose to do that. And that my sucks. last guy goes five. One, two, three, four. So, oh, back two. so I'm going to get two exhaustion. I'm getting one. Yeah, but you're not getting two. So my sprinter gets one, and my roller gets one. So I add it here, underneath, face up, sprinter underneath, face up. So it's going to be roller, roller, sprinter, sprinter. So, okay. I'm going to do my sprinter first. Three, four. I'll just try this, just to show you guys what will happen by doing that. Okay. And then I'll play one of these. Do you have your cards picked? Yeah. Okay, so you got your cards picked? Yep. Okay, so you got, you're going to be shuffling your deck for sure. And this one I only have one extra and then I have to sh shuffle the rest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so my roller mm -hmm. goes first. He's zooming ahead. Six. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at him go. And he's in the right lane. Do, 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 do. Okay. And then your roller goes next. Um, four. You're just put putting along. One, two, three, hoping four. Hoping to go really fast. Oh, you're going to get exhaustion. That's all right. My sprinter goes nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. He'll protect the roller now. And my last guy goes four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, no slip streaming because we're three spaces away. If you're one space away, you would have. My sprinter is going to get an exhaustion. Okay, so I put it underneath my deck here. All right, so here we go. Okay, I draw three. Now I have to shuffle. And look how many. I only I, I was able to burn off a couple, so my deck's doing okay. Okay. What if we never make it to the end? <laughs> oh, you will, because the rules say <laughs> that you just draw exhaustion cards. Oh, okay. Okay, you just putt putt to the end. Okay. You always will have something. So if you run out of your, this is actually called your energy deck. If you run out of energy cards, you just draw exhaustion cards. Ah, oh, gotcha. So they've, they've already built that in there. So I need to do my sprinter first because he's the one with the really high cards. All right. I'm trying a little different strategy this game. Okay. Wow. Look what I drew. Oh, that stinks. That's okay. I burned through them. So part remembering how many exhaustion cards you have, you can check what you've played underneath. You can't look at the unplayed ones. Right, that makes sense. Okay, so we look here. Your uh, sprinter goes first. Yes, sprinter goes nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that's not necessarily a good thing. I only have one more nine left in my deck. The roller goes seven. And he's. If only he had an eight. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right. My All right. roller goes seven. You're going to have to do it for me, please. Okay. And then my sprinter goes nine. Okay. Well, he protected him at least. Both my guys get exhaustion. And my sprinter gets exhaustion. Okay, so, I'm going to make sure it's the right deck. Okay. So we're picking here. My sprinter is going to go first. I'm going to pick him first. Wow. That's craptastic. <laughs> <laughs> this is a problem when you burn through your nice cards too quickly. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> okay. So Julie's looking, and that's fine. Hey, do it on camera. I have the camera on you, so you can at least show, show what you're doing. I'm trying to count in my head, which is not a good thing. Well, try your best. That's part of the game. All right. We're going to go with this one. Okay. Okay. All right. So I do my sprinter first, and oh, I already had a face up. Oh, he burns a exhaustion. <laughs> Two. Roller goes four. Okay, my sprinter goes five. Oh, you're going to get slipstreaming. And then my uh, roller goes six. Five. Oh, you're going to get an exhaustion. Oh, but bummer. you move up, we slipstream, so only your roller gets the exhaustion. Okay. And your. Well, Sprinter gets one. Yes. See how I zoomed ahead and Julie caught up right away. So that's how this game works. You're, you're in the race pretty much all the way till the end. My Sprinter cards are getting smaller. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get through these cards. Four. I'll just do it. Um... Yeah, I'll do this. Do that. And this side. I'm going to do that. Okay, honey, I'm ready. Okay, so my sprinter goes first. He's burning his last nine. Now, Julie oh would have to remember gosh. that, but I'm telling the audience I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm in the rightmost lane. My roller is next. Goes seven. So he's two away. They're both going to get exhaustions unless Julie zooms ahead. I'm not. My sprinter goes five. And my roller goes two. I'm burning a thing. Wow. Everybody's getting exhaustion. I'll just keep it. Sorry. I mean to stab you yeah, with my you nails did. there. Yeah, you meant to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you get back at me. Uh-huh. All right. So I have my deck here for my sprinter. Well, let's take a look at what I have in it. I have four exhaustions in it, and I don't have many high cards. In fact, maybe my roller will cross the finish line. We'll see here. Okay. I'm sure there's people who play this game a lot that are laughing at our strategy. I don't know what the best strategy is in this game yet. Okay, look at my roller. He's like Mr. Exhaustion. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready when you are, love. Okay. Okay, so what did I do here? Wow. You're going to both get exhausted again. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Unless Julie zooms ahead. Okay, so I do my sprinter first. He's going four. Okay. And then my roller goes. He goes four. One, two, three, four. Okay, what's your okay. sprinter going? Nine. Yeah, I thought you'd zoom ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And my roller goes seven. Seven. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, you're behind. I slipstream and move up. So your roller gets one and my sprinter gets one. All right, so we're getting close to the finish here. Yep. 
I gotta shuffle my sprinters real quick. Okay. I'm gonna do my roller first. I haven't even picked my cards yet, Slick. No, I'm talking about picking. You get to decide which oh. guy you wanna do first. I'll do that. My sprinter. Wow. Well, doesn't really matter which one he does. face up sometimes you can mess up okay so my sprinter goes first oh he's zooming ahead too <laughs> my sprinter is next and it goes three. Oh, good one two three you're all we we'll both get exhausted yeah I know. and then my roller goes next he goes five one two three four five oh I protected my sprinter and my roller goes five if he's too far back, he doesn't yeah. get slipstreaming. So my roller gets an exhaustion. And my sprinter gets an exhaustion. Yeah. Okay. So this is considered one group, even though they're diagonal, because they're touching here, just adjacent here. All right, so I'm going to do my roller first. There's not many high cards left in the sprinter deck. Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay, I did mine. Oh, what am I doing? Wow, awesome. Okay. So, I'll take out a picture. Picture, my roller is first. He is going six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, he's almost there, but he doesn't have a lot of high cards left, so it might not matter. Uh, who's in the right lane? My sprinter is. Goes three. Okay, what are you doing? My sprinter goes three, and my roller goes. Oh, hang on, let me oh. do that first. One, two, three. And my sprinter, or excuse me, my roller goes seven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, good, you blocked me. Damn. But it really doesn't matter at this time because we're not going to get through our decks that much anymore. No, I have so many. So my sprinter and my roller gets an exhaustion. Okay. I gotta shuffle now. Look how many my you wanna see how many exhaustions my roller has? Look yeah, at that. it's about the same as me. Again, there's people that probably play this game a lot more than 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 we have that are probably uh, giggling at <laughs> our moves. That's okay. We're entertaining. Would you like a little giggle? <laughs> okay. It's not the Money Python cycling game. No. All right, so I have to look here. Oh, my, my roller is ahead. I'll do him first. Stick him here. I messed up here. Yeah, you probably did. No. And, and that's probably why you're gonna we're gonna win because you're not. No, doing I'm not gonna right. win. Trust me. Uh huh. Wow. My look at look at my sprinter. The choices he has. Well, look at mine. My sprinter. Yeah, exactly. So, it's the way the game goes. We're tired towards the end of the race. The ideal thing is you keep your best cards to the end. I mean, there's different ways to do it. I'm tired. <laughs> All right. So, my roller is in the lead position. He goes four. Nice. Oh, but oh, if he gets so if he gets all twos, he's not going to win. <laughs> but you might have a nine coming up here. Uh, you probably I don't think do. So. No, because all I drew were little okay, bits. Okay, so roller is next. Roller, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to slipstream. Okay, my sprinter is next. He's in the rightmost lane. He goes two. And my guy goes two as well. One, two. And so you slipstream up. So Julie is one, two, one, two, three, four away. I'm one, two, three away from crossing the finish. I said two. It's actually three. Uh, so sprinter gets an exhaustion. And my sprinter gets an exhaustion. And my roller gets an exhaustion. Okay. Back to what I have. To, I'm going to do my roller first because he's the one close to the finish. Okay. Julie gets a high card. She's going to win.
So I reveal my roller. It goes three, one, two, three. I've crossed, but it doesn't mean Julie doesn't have a higher card. What's your next card? What is that? Your roller. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So Julie's going to win. So now I do my sprinter. Three, one, two, three. And my sprinter goes nine. I thought you would have that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So both of yours finished, and mine did not. So Julie won. Uh, and she even got both her runners across. Woo! So, that's two games today I've won. And that's Woo! fine, because I was modeling what happens if you, you know, play your cards, to your high cards early. And I saved mine. Uh, and Julie saved hers. So, I mean, there's different strategies yeah. to do with this There's game. no right or wrong. Well, I'm, sure there's, a, I'm sure there's a better way to play than others because well, we, have. we haven't played this a lot of times. And no. then I'm sure the dynamic's different too when you play with three or four players. Oh, I would think I bet so. you this plays a lot differently yeah. than a two-player game. So this is Flamme Rouge. This has uh, been the How to Play and yeah, Playthrough. Correct. And if you want to watch the review, please check that out.